Hi, welcome back to another session on statistics. In this specific session, I'm going to walk you through with the main unclassified data. If you look at any time unclassified data, if it is not grouped one, say for example, I'm just going to have 4, 3, 5, 2, 1, 10, 20, 30, 17, and 11. Now let's say I'm just going to group the data and asking how many data are in between the range 1 to 5. We have gotten these five data, so I'm just going to write from between 6 to 10 how many data we have got. This is the only data we have gotten. Between 11 to 15 how many data? This is the only data that we have. So one count. Between 16 to 20 how many we have gotten? We have gotten only 70. If you are going to bring everything under a frequency then it is called as a group data. The one that we are going to look forward is going to be similar to the one that you are looking at this day. Let's do a sum on the unclassified data. The daily earning of the employees working on a daily basis are given below in the table. They are asking us to calculate what is the average daily earnings for all the employees. The earnings range is from 100 and maximum earnings is up to 120. And if you look into the number of people or the frequency, the highest is up to 20. And we have to go ahead and find out what is the average wage of the employees. In order to calculate the arithmetic mean, I am transposing this data into the specific format wherein we have the daily earnings of the employees. It's independent from one employee to the another. The number of employees we have taken as in terms of the frequency. Now what do I do? We will not be able to work on this data in the same way. So I am going to bring in a step deviation method given the fact that these are all large numbers. So I have brought them the deviation. We are going to look forward regarding what is the assumed mean. If I look into this data, in fact, this is an odd number data. Whenever you have got an odd number data, you will take the middle value as an assumed mean. Otherwise, you can go ahead and take fourth or the fifth value, whichever is higher. So I'm marking 160 over here. Now, from every data, we are going to take this data minus 160 that we are going to do in all the data. So now what happens here, we have got 100 minus 160, which will give us minus 60. Then 120 minus 160, which will give us over minus 40. Then 140 minus 160 will give us minus 20. 160 minus 160 will give us zero. Then we have got 180. 180 minus 160 will give us 20. Then 200 minus 160 will give us 40 then 220 minus 160 will give us 60. Please be assured anytime if you are trying to sum up the deviation from the mean then you are going to have the answer as a zero because now check into it minus 60 and plus 60 minus 40 and plus 40 minus 20 and plus 20 gets called off. The number of employees is the frequency this time, go ahead, multiply the frequency into the deviation, which is 3 into minus 60 will give you minus 180, 6 into minus 40 will give you minus 240, 10 into minus 20 will give you minus 200, 15 into 0 will give you 0, 24 into 20 will give you 480, 42 into 40 will give you 1680. 75 into 60 will give you 4500. Summation of FI DI stands at 6040. The next step is to calculate the mean. So how do we calculate the mean? It's going to be simple. Since we have taken assumed mean, we are taking that value. Summation of FI DI. In fact, you don't require the daily earnings and this calculation you don't know. Your calculation is a summation of FIDI by summation of FI you are in need of. Now tell me what is your assumed mean? Assumed mean is 160 plus summation of FIDI you have gotten over here 6040 divided by summation of FI. 175 employees are there, I am taking 175. This is going to get us a value of 160 plus 
which is going to be 194.5 average wage is 194.5 yes i can hear that it's easy i'm sure all of you were able to follow me thank you so much for joining me should you have any doubts please post it in the comment box i'm happy to answer this is kapakam signing off see you soon in another video good day